Hey, what's up guys? Robert from LoneWolf.com here. Today's video is all about this brand new tire by Schwalbe, the Taki Chan. It's their brand new gravity race tire, a tire that they've been working hard with their Commensal Mokoff uh, downhill race team to develop and one that we're extremely excited to test. We're here in Leogang, Austria, where Schwalbe is going to talk about it, show us exactly what we need to know and then let us take it out into the trails and find out how it performs. So stay tuned to find out in this video. Let's go. Uh, my name is Karl and I'm project manager and developer for mountain bike class at Follow. And part of my job is the race R&D together with the World Cup teams, including Emery Piron and uh, Tiwet Pena, which is in here too. Awesome. And uh, how were you involved in the development of the tires? So um, at Schwalbe, every development starts at the rider. So especially in the World Cup, um, we develop rider focused. Um, and basically my job started when uh, the writers came up with the idea of having something more precise than a magic mirror. So as always, they approached me and they were like, hey, can we do this? And uh, after a short discussion, we really liked the idea. And yeah, we started with a track design. I actually started by cutting big bellies down to what we need. And then at one point we transferred that to a mode to get a running tire. And um, that was the first version. And here you can see the final version. That also, uh, that Emery also wrote to Victory in 2022. Awesome. And uh, roughly how many versions have you had along the way? So just modes, um, two. So there are two versions of the tire in terms of modes. Um, and uh, then 3D prototypes, I'd say 21. Okay. Well, it's like small iterations sometimes, just like change the siping a little bit and whatever. And then for the big belly, you know, when we started to cut the big belly, uh, we had five different cuts. Cool. Awesome. And uh, so riders maybe off of the World Cup circuit, who's going to benefit the most from this tire? Yeah, that's always the question when you develop something for races. Like many people think then it's just, it's just a racist product. Um, and I think this is a prime example of why that's maybe not like, the right approach. So for sure, that something's developed meticulously for World Cup application, also the average consumer will um, benefit from it. Uh, in this case, I would say those riders that really like to push the bike and really find their limits. I know it's like <laughs> it's it's a sentence that's yeah that's used a lot, but it basically describes this tire. So it will help you to it will help you to really find your limits and find your group limits. And yeah, if you keep to push and like be an active rider, good balance, um, and maybe even clock your times, then that's the right product for you. Awesome. And uh, what kind of different versions are you going to offer this tire, and who can buy this tire? Yeah, so that's actually um, that, that's a testament to what we, how we think of the tire. So it's not just a downhill race tire, although it's developed for that. But we're actually going to offer it in uh, super tray casing, super gravity, and super DH, um, super um, sorry, uh, soft and ultra soft um, in both option in all options available. And uh, size wise, we're going for twenty seven point five and twenty nine by two point four. That's awesome, man. Well. It's been really interesting to learn a little bit more about the tire. We're almost at the top of the lift now, and I reckon we should drop in and see how it performs. Let's go. Let's go, Taki. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Taki. <laughs> oh. Go. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Jack, and I raced down the World Cup. I've done for 14 years. I've ridden for Schwalbe since 2009. So, yeah, that's me, I guess. So I got my first taste of the tire one week before Lenzerheide, managed to get a testing day on them. Um, 
thought they were really good. Um, as I said earlier, found that on um, ground that was breaking up or where you needed to be moving the bike around on tricky lines, you were getting more edge grip cool. than the Magic Mary and definitely more braking traction. So I raced a pair of them in Lenzerheide last week and had my best World Cup result in three years. So Awesome, man. Tidy. That, that says a lot, right? Exactly. Um, and how, how much did you ride them before you decided to race them? Uh, I rode them for one day at Langholm and then I rode them in practice at Lenzerheide. I did start on the Magic just to get a baseline and then yeah. I switched up after I switched the back one after one run because I could feel any one a better braking yeah. and I switched the front one after three runs and awesome. then stayed on them for the weekend so. it says a lot and uh, planning to ride them here at Lou again? yeah for sure I think I'm going to go out on a Magic Mary on the front because uh, the track looks like it's fairly one line so I feel like the front should track well on a Magic Mary and roll fast um, nice predictable feel I'm going to put one on the back for better braking in the trees but I do get a feeling I will switch to a pair um, because the track when more bikes go down it will potentially break up and especially in the woods I might want um, better edge grip and a bit more traction so right on Yeah, so anywhere in Lenzerheide you can relate to. Yeah, the Magic Mary is uh, obviously it's a very good uh, tire, but um, it's good on every track, everywhere, and he's doing the job like uh, too much every time. But when you are racing, you are looking for something really precise and fast, yeah. and that's why the Taki Chan is pretty precise on some corners and when you want to take some lines, and yeah. he helps you to, to go faster and you have a very, very good grip. Nice. That's, that's why we, we ride it a lot now. Perfect. So, how did the guys in Schwalbe react when, when you and the team said, hey, we yeah. want to develop a new tire? So basically, we, we knew what we were looking for, and we already had a good relationship, I think, with uh, you guys. And we started, I think, the first prototype was back in 2021 in Maribor. Yeah. And that's where we, we started to develop the tires. And as we know, what we want to, we just explain to you what we are looking for and that's where we start to, to have this tire. And now I think we, we end up with a very good uh, product. Project start, how were you involved in the development process at the time? Uh, for sure we were involved like uh, a lot because uh, we were testing the tires on uh, a lot of different tracks and for a couple years almost and we have a bunch of different tires like the same uh, model but with different rubber and different things maybe. <laughs> Don't say too much. And no, 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 but you know, it's normal to, to have a few different things and yeah, yeah we try to give the, the best feedback uh, as possible and, and we end up with this tire and yeah. Just a lot of testing and a lot of runs and, yeah. to see how the tire reacts and where it can be the best and where we can improve it. The corner instability is one thing and the out and out traction is obviously very important but predictability and brake and traction are two things I really noticed with this tire too. There is no sort of vague feeling, no wallowing of the tire um, and you kind of got a really nice and direct feedback through the bike to let you know exactly what was happening down there. There was no yeah, wondering whether it was going to hook up or not. It really just led you up to a sort of point where you'd be able to figure out if you just needed to push it harder or take a step back. It uh, yeah, definitely didn't snap out or give me any of those sort of vague feelings that you might expect sometimes for a softer rubber tire. And the other thing was the brake and traction. Certainly it feels like this thing really hooks up and slows you down quickly. Of course, part of that is going to be to do with the soft rubber compound they've used. The ultra soft rubber here is maybe not the softest on the market, but it's definitely still soft. And it's starting to show already after a day's hard riding, albeit um, a little bit of wear to really let you know that that rubber is digging into the ground, kind of putting itself down there and creating the friction that you need. But um, yeah, you might not be surprised that a downhill race tire with ultra soft rubber is not going to be a very long lasting one. And that definitely has proven to be the case. It is going to be definitely in the ultra soft com compound, at least a tire that you really want to reserve for the days where you need grip the absolute most, such as in the race scenario. It's pretty hard to comment on rolling speed, being a bike that I've not ridden previously, trails that I've not ridden on before, and yeah, just a different day. 
but it did feel like for the most part they roll smoothly and to me that indicates that they do have pretty nice kind of uh, rolling yeah speed rolling smoothness and not robbing you of your energy by you know having that, those harsh, ed harsh edges there so I do think that you're probably going to be rolling a little bit quicker especially compared to the likes of a Magic Mary and uh, that all adds up to free speed at the end of the day. This has just been a quick first ride preview of the new Taki Chan. Do stay tuned for our long-term review coming to the website and YouTube channel in the future and for now thank you very much for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think of the new Taki Chan. We'd certainly be welcome to hear any feedback that you guys have had on them and subscribe to the channel to see more awesome content on awesome tires like this. Thank you very much for tuning in guys, catch you out on the trails.